mainly it's a story of uh, real joy and homecoming, you know. History is often rewritten. Time can change an ending into a beginning. And what we know to be the facts can deteriorate into uncertainties. My mother and dad said, he's gone, he's not coming back. And it's hard, it's hard to live with that. Lieutenant Vernal Byrd served as a pilot in World War II. While on an important mission, his plane lagged behind and crashed into the New Guinea jungle. They just knew that he disappeared. 57 years later, someone found the crash site. And a few years after that, the military matched the DNA to Uncle Vernal. To have lost someone and then to have found them again. I mean, it filled that hole that had always been there. That it, He had always been a shadow and a sadness, and it filled that uh, for all of us. Bird was brought home in September of this year, properly buried alongside his family. But that's not where this story ends. On the day of his funeral, a Pleasant Grove woman found a box of letters and photographs from Bird to his mother. The woman almost threw them away until she saw the story in the newspaper. It just couldn't be simply a coincidence because had she found them, you know, two or three days before, they'd have been in the garbage and gone. Or two or three days after, the garbage also would have been gone. But she found them at the right time, saw the story at the right time, put it together before the garbage went out. The letters accidentally sold at a garage sale show the young soldier's bravery and insecurity. We are flying nights and trying to sleep days. It is much more strenuous than day flying, but much smoother and cooler. Tonight we go on a 300 mile trip. And to see them come to light after all these years is an ending, his nieces say, they couldn't have written themselves. It was always meant to be, and I think that's why we've always been drawn to him, because there wasn't going to be an ending. Ashton Goodell, Fox 13 News, Utah.